Hello everybody, this is Jeff Ali with Exo Boas. And today I wanted to just do a video. Get straight to the point. Look, for for you guys that are watching right now that just have no idea of what you're looking at. Of course you're like, oh, you see a snake, but this is a bow constrictor. And the color is was created with intent. You know, we have a a community of people that are actually this is what you call a bow morph and a bow morph is what we're taking genetics and we're fusing them together to create you know different patterns and colors inside a bow constrictor which is what i like to call genetic art um what you're looking at here is mom one of my uh projects that i produced in 2018 and this is called the uh it's an arctic glow aztec and the aztec Gene is responsible for like these really large saddles here. It kind of like look like some type of mask and you know pretty bow patterns. And then all the time the Aztec always has like this solid striped tail. Uh, the the unique thing about this girl, I can't wait till she grows up because she's gonna produce some really nice babies. She's got a really 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 fancy pattern on the side as well. You know, sometimes these links tend to connect. Sometimes they're separated. As you can see, she got a little bit of both. And um, she's a really, really good girl. Very strong, very active. Pretty beautiful face, just to kind of give you an idea of how her face look. But um, the, the irony in this situation is that I remember when she was first born, because of her brother was just so much brighter than her and just so much more visual arctic, I didn't know what to expect because this was my first time producing one. And by the way, I don't. There was nobody else that produced this, so I may have. I'm. I'm gonna say. I was safe to say that I'm the first one to produce an Arctic Glow Aztec. And I was laboring her as a ghost, a super ghost. I put her for sale. Everything. Thank God, nobody purchased her because. As she started growing up and started shedding, her colors just started to show display different, especially around this tail area, how it just became so clean and pure. Just look at that. So she's a very fancy uh, girl. She's got um, an Arctic Glow Aztec. It was uh, the genetics that, you know, for all those that do know about the bow Mars, the genetics that she does carry will be... Of course, the Aztec gene, that's a codon gene. She's got the hypo gene, you know, that's what washes away to black. But, um, yep, she's got the hypo gene. She also has a, a sharp albino gene and a bow woman caramel, both visually showing in her. So that's what created a, what you call a paradigm. So here we go. This is what you is a hypo Aztec anery paradigm the anery gene is what's responsible for giving this white color this grayish white color so she is loaded with some genetics and you can imagine that once i get the uh i haven't really thought of what male to get with her it'll probably be something brand new out of my collection you know just to kind of like start a new project and she will be able to give me a jump start on the babies and just produce some really fantastic babies because i know that she's going to be making all the babies anery and she's going to pass down the anery gene so that the babies can carry it she's going to pass down that sharp albino or a bone and caramel gene that the babies can carry she's going to pass down the hypo gene that's going to be showing visually on the first litter and she's going to pass down the um, aztec gene that's going to be showing visually on the first litter so whatever mail that I do get for her, which is only complement her or contribute, should I say, because the mail that I'm going to add is going to be something totally different. Like, for example, if I wanted to go ahead and add that jungle gene, you know, add the, add the jungle gene. To, I'm just looking at my bearded dragon. You know, if I wanted to add the jungle gene to her and to make this more, you know, the jungle is like more that distinct color where it just pops even more kind of connect the saddles more so if i wanted to make it longer and just make her look just more beautiful which i think would be a really good idea i can do that or if i wanted to you know i do have the um i can add an img anyway i wanted to do this video just to show you her i haven't given her a name yet and she's been with me for over a year 
definitely I'm definitely gonna change that. We're gonna change that, guys. And uh, one thing I can say is that stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned because if you are interested into this, getting into this hobby, into this game, you know, and you're willing to put some money up, this is you know I have boas for sale that are similar to her jeans, if not carried. You know, they make, I got boas that do carry her jeans. Just some of it might not be visual. For an example, I got ghosts. I have some super ghost Aztecs. And they carry, the super ghost Aztecs will carry the same exact jeans as her. Just that the difference is, her shows, where to the other one, has to be um, matched up with the proper male or female to support it to show. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching XO Boas. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel. Tag somebody um, and um, comment in on anything that you uh, want to share with me, as long as it's positive. Take care. Have a have a blessed day.